Welcome back to Video Review. I'm Aaron Cavagnolo here with Zach Collier. And today we're taking a look at our run down the North Fork of the American, Chamberlain Falls at 2300 CFS. Uh, we'll be watching them run down through the first big rapid Chamberlain. If you haven't noticed already, they are using a bucket boat. And this is video from last season, I believe. So this is uh, about 2019 bucket boat running, like pretty awesome old school here, taking out the old yep. style boat. And so, you know, we appreciate these guys sharing their video with us and there's some stuff we're going to talk about here and, and they look properly outfitted and everything and ready to go for this. And so hopefully, you know, like we're just trying to talk about things that they're doing well and give, give ideas about what they could do to decrease the probability of having accidents or having problems today. Say Zach. Yep. Yeah, I agree. And, and I think there's some things I noticed right away. I just, I just have to point out so I don't bring it up later. First of all, it's impressive that they're doing a bucket boat on a run. This is a solid class four, four plus run at all flows and a 2300. It's a little juicy. So they're going into something that is challenging. What makes me nervous. Some things I want to point out are one that they have a dog. Uh, that's crazy to me to do on the North Fork Two, They seem to be in a one boat trip. So there's some rafts we see coming up here soon, but they're by themselves. So they don't really have safety. If they were to flip or swim, there's nobody really to help them out. That's a little bit worrisome. And I think, what's the other thing I'm worried about? Oh, they had a drinking a beer at the beginning. I think there's somebody at the beginning was finishing off some sort of beer. It might've been a Sprite, but maybe alcohol, which I'm not innocent here. I've made that mistake before drinking on rivers. I'm not going to claim I'm perfect, but you know, on something, I think it's a general good habit to not be drinking and go on a river trip. So we need to say that. So people don't think that we think it's okay. It's probably a better option to wait until you're past, you're through the class four plus rapids to do something through that and you're doing the float out or yeah. Yep. Yep. And it's a good rule of thumb. The biggest things for safety, I feel like are dress properly for the conditions, wear your PFD and don't drink. If you look at river accidents, those are the three key things to do. So with that said, Zach, I'm, I'm, go, ahead. go ahead. Well, I'm going to say on that same note, Zach, I think that, that over the years, what I've seen is the number two cause of root trip is paddle tees. People then go to their paddle team and swim around hitting someone else in the face, breaking teeth. Yeah. And we're seeing a fair amount of day. And you see a lot of that on trips too. I mean, on commercial trips, even when you tell people. And that's just for me, that's something that I like to really emphasize when I'm in the boat. And particularly when my friend next to me is letting go of the paddle team, because more often than not, it's not that they hit themselves in the face, they hit their friend in the face with the paddle team. Yeah. So. Yeah. And you call it paddle tee, I call it a T grip, but it's yeah. just the top of the paddle. So here we are, we're heading into Slaughter Sluice. This is a legit rapid. I mean, North Fork of the American starts off with a bang, right into Slaughter Sluice. You know, there's sieves in here. This isn't an easy rapid. And so, you know, another thing I want to point out is these seats they, they're using. I've never seen anything like this. I don't, I'd love to know more of the history on these seats uh, because I've never seen anybody paddle hard rivers with seats like this. They look comfortable though. And, and so, yeah, and I'll say, Zach, they are taking the conservative line here. Yeah. You know, they're going left of the rock here. And as the water is lower, you can't go over here. You got to cut between those locks and, and cut back to the left below that big rock. And I've seen a lot of dump trucks here. And so they're taking the conservative line, you know, oh, trying to ship his oar. Oh, Ooh, yeah. Let's go shipped. back to that. Yeah. So we talk, you know, you and I talk a lot about shipping oars and how key it is for good boating. Looks like right he's here, trying if you to get it there, but he just yeah. doesn't get in time. If you bring that blade all the way against the boat, you can slide by this rock and immediately throw that blade in the eddy. A lot of people, he does a good job of holding on here, the, or a lot of people that or get pulled out of his hand, maybe hit his buddy, you know, which can hurt somebody. He has a good recovery, but a good ship there would make a big difference. And, and one of the things, you know, we've talked about before is like with pins and clips, having the clip on the inside versus on the outside as you ship makes it narrower and it's less likely to pop out and get caught. And when you're pulling, you're bending the oar around the pin versus yep. you're bending the oar around the pin when you're pushing and you're stronger pulling. And so, the way he's got it set up, you're much more likely to put bend the clip. Yeah. So like we would run the pins and clips with the oar on the other side of the pin. There's another way to describe that. That would put the, when you ship the oar on the inside of the boat, which is, I think. Now having said that, he is using stirrups, which are incredibly yep. helpful. And I, and when people run pins and clips without stirrups, I think that's, that's a huge disadvantage and, and like a huge level, so much more safety. Oh, nice shift yep. there. That's it. That was a good yeah, shift. Yeah. Yeah, so both doors, they're not shipped right against the boat. Like I would be wide arm against the boat, but there is an effort to ship here, which is really helping him. And he has immediate use of his orders, which is nice. That was a nice ship, yeah. 
They're having nice lines. They're taking good oh, that, routes. Going down. I think that left or is out of the clip. Doesn't look like it's spinning. Yeah, it popped out again. It popped yeah, out. Maybe, yeah. maybe, I wonder if his clips aren't that tight and they're just sliding out. On yeah. Them. yeah. Oh, now it looks like they're stuck on a little rock. That's cool. Everyone's kind of mellow. Yeah. The dog's chill. I think the dog's good at seeing the mill. Yeah. Anytime you're stuck like this, it's just good to take a deep breath. They're not in any rush and take your time getting off slowly, which they did a good job of. I'm going to say every time I've seen a dog on a river trip and the, they've had swimmers or a flip, the dog's usually the first one to eddy out of the water. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> so, I, I, you know, the question I have here, Aaron, I, you and I know how difficult this run is. Do you think they know going into I mean, I know how difficult and dangerous this is. I'm not sure I would, and I feel like I know the river well. I feel like I'm good in the orders. I'm not sure if I would personally take a bucket boat down the North Fork with the dog on a one boat trip. Well, I think they're kayakers. If I remember, because one oh, of them, was, I feel like, okay. had kayaked it before and he'd seen it before and he'd seen raptors go down and he'd probably like, what's the big deal? You're in a big, huge baloney boat, boat, you know? And they're athletic and they're well dressed yeah. for it. Like, I'm. I personally, like, I, the dog doesn't bother me as much as it bothers you. I'm more like, okay, you know, like, I've seen enough dogs on rivers, and even they got a vest mm. on the dog. Dogs can come to the surface. The dog's probably going to be fine. I, I don't, you know, and, and maybe the dog's, like, pooping his pants the whole way down here and hating <laughs> it, or maybe the dog's having a good time. I don't, the dog know, looks I don't like it's having fun. My dog doesn't react to these kind of rapids very well, so she's visibly scared. So that's why I think I'm so nervous about dogs on trips. Now, I don't remember if you were on that trip with us when the guy flipped in uh, Grace Grindstone with his dog, and then the dog wouldn't get back in the boat with him. After it just looked at him, he's like, the dog once he was first one out, and just like looked at him and shook his head, and just like, no, I'm not getting back in there. I don't remember so, that. So, yeah. Okay, back again, getting spun around there a little bit. All right, just going backwards. That's a, a good choice. Instead of turning back around, just go through that next next feature backwards. That works. You know their their rig looks good. They have a like, tight rig. They got the they got their their frame well rigged in there. The boat looks in good shape. It's well inflated. It's not bending and flexing. Where's this one? Oh, they got a bail. They're bailing some water. Yeah, out. it's a yeah, bucket bail. boat. They got a bail. <laughs> it looks like a square back to me. I looked. I saw them looking back, and the back is squared out like those old square back pros. Yeah. Is this a sixteen? You think? I thought it was a 14, but then I saw that back too. It looked a little bit squareback. A squareback pro. It, I wonder if it is a squareback or if it just looks kind of that way because of like the weird, you know, with the GoPro, the weird angle on the GoPro. Yeah. yeah I mean, it, I, I think normally people take a 14 foot adventure down down this run, but this could be a 16 foot Avon. And we know, we know that because they used to make the squareback pros. I don't think they made a squareback Avon. No. So here we are. Adventure above one of the biggest rapids on North Fork of the American. This is Chamberlain Falls. The typical run is the right side because it flushes nicely. And the left side is notorious, even at this flow, for being a pretty gnarly keeper hole. And then people- Keeper are, hole and keeper eddy too. There's like both. Eddy. There's like it's, you, you just get stepped underwater and go around and around and get stuffed back under that current and getting hammered. I remember people just sitting there and like, like we used to eddy out up here and have someone walk down with the throw bag. Yeah, commercial trips good idea. Sweet there. Yeah, because that left side can be pretty dangerous. But they're doing a good job. They're standing up. They're taking a look. They slow down. Yep. They got their boat empty of water. They're ready to go. Oh, it's, yeah. He's it's leaning back through. a little. Yeah. Yeah, that was you know smart move there. There need high fives need to happen right now. Where are the high fives, guys? Come on, give me a high five. That was. Oh, it needs to bail first. They're just like, yeah, that was cool. That was a nice line down. You know, I think they're in control. I would love to, you know. I'd be curious how they do a bogus because bogus is a that's a that's by far yeah. I feel like the hardest rapid on the run and the sketchiest one. I've flipped there twice. Have you? Commercial boat, yeah, yeah. It bogus is nice. my nemesis rapid. Bogus. Uh, you go, the toaster slot. I flipped on the toaster slot and I flipped on the far right, trying to go left and ending up far right. So I've I've had bogus has my number. In nice Eddie, they, yeah, nice Eddie they caught here. Pulled over. Looks like a good spot. See, that's a square back right there, Aaron. I don't think yeah, it's. I, I think you're right. I think you're right. Yeah, 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 yeah. It is. Yeah. It's you know, so I think a 16 foot boat at this flow would actually give you a lot of advantages. You can kind of yeah. plow, like the way they plowed over back there, they plowed over Chamberlain, no problem on the left. If you're in a smaller boat, that might be problematic, but them being in a big boat, I think helps here. And you know, they got the spare, they, they brought a spare pump along. They seem yeah. well prepared. Like I'm, I'm yeah. like, like, you know, you make fun of people who were like running all, like a running old bucket boat down. What the heck? And the, but like, you know, they got 
two spare oars. Yep. They they're well they're well dressed for it. Like the gear may be a little wonky and weird, but they look well prepared overall. You know, yep. I'd say, you yep. know, like the things we've talked about are pretty minor. Like, oh, keep your hand on the pedal tee. Like that's <laughs> you know, that's like that's that's not that big of a deal. You know, and like he and he knows to ship his oars. I think one of the problems he's got too. I bet that frame is pretty wide, and it's hard to ship both yeah. of his oars. If it's a sixteen. If yeah. it's a 16 foot boat, it's hard to ship both the oars. And you know, depending on height, like I'm 6'2, I have long arms, I can ship on a 16 foot boat. But if you're like, you know, not 6'2, it's way yeah. harder to ship both oars. And then when you have them on the outside of the pins, it gives you it's a couple inches more there, too. You know, like it makes it much harder. Here comes that raft down right now. Yeah, I'm guessing that's taking, that commercial boats. They are taking yeah, the right they're side. They're taking yeah. the right side, yeah. Well, that's interesting. At 2300, the commercial trip just running a couple paddle boats down, just cruising down paddle boats. That's, that's I don't legit. think that's. <laughs> super smart either i think i i think i put the uh at least a kayak two and a kayak or minimum but just two paddle boats is not enough safety on a north fork it yeah like, there's you guys there's... on a private trip these guys are doing their own thing with one boat but commercially that that i'm i'm not going to approve of that one hmm. well i mean yeah that was a nice run down like i said wish, wish we got to see some more footage this is such and that's just such a gorgeous run too yeah well, uh, thank you all for, for listening to another one of our video reviews. Um, if you think that we're terrible at this, please let us know and we'll stop uh, because we don't want to you know, do a bad job at this. We're happy to stop doing this uh, if you think this is embarrassing or a waste of your time. But if you like it, let us know. Give us a thumbs up. Leave a comment. We'd love to hear that too. And yeah, thanks, Aaron. Yeah, thank you, Zach.